So here we have one of our top invasive species in North America. This is our Cytisus scaparius or Scotch broom. It was actually introduced as an ornamental because it has these beautiful yellow pea-like flowers um, that people thought <clears throat> brightened up their gardens. And at one time, it was actually encouraged to plant this to sort of stabilize areas that had been eroded. But it's actually now having a significant impact, particularly on the timber industry. So areas that have been harvested Often you'll have invasives like the Cytisus scaparius that moves in and outcompetes a lot of those young seedlings. Some of the key identifying characteristics of your Cytisus scaparius are it can actually grow up to 10 feet tall. So usually anywhere from about three to 10 feet tall. It's a fairly, it's an erect, fairly loosely branched shrub. The leaves are very, very small. So here we have some of our leaves. They're only about a quarter of an inch to a half inch in diameter. They are simple and they are alternate on the stem. The stems are another really important key identifying characteristic. So if you try to roll these between your fingers, you'll feel that those stems or twigs are ribbed. So they're distinctly ribbed. They don't roll as easily between your fingers. So they're very slender, green, and they'll often be green even through the winter with this distinctive rib. The flowers, as I mentioned, are about three quarters of an inch in diameter, and they are bright yellow and pea-like. The fruits are typical of the Fabaceae family or our legumes, and those fruits are, as they mature, they become dark brown to black, and they're a legume that will eventually, as it, as it matures and ripens, it will actually develop a pretty distinct twist to it when it's fully ripened. Um, and they're about an inch in length. So this is a really significant problem, an invasive species. It is beautiful and relatives of the Cytisus scaparius are still sometimes sold in nurseries. Um, French broom is one. Because it's in the Fabaceae family, it is a nitrogen fixer, so typical of our legumes. Nitrogen fixing, um, the leaves are very high in potash, but they're also toxic to livestock. 